What's up Shady Crew, back at it again with another reaction video and today we begin round two of the rap battle between Ryan Upchurch and Screwface John. Um, now hopefully this one is a little more about the bars um, and we kind of steer clear of like the racist banter on this track. I think he got the message, hopefully, I don't know. Um, but it's gonna be dope if he's able to stick to the bars, we'll be able to really see uh, his flow style on display. And of course, it's it's good music, man. That's what we're here for. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get into this. Um, I think the name of this track is uh, Joe Dirt 2. I love Joe Dirt. Great movie, whatever. Um, but we're gonna get into this video. If this is the first time of you tuning into the channel, please wait to the end of the video. That's typically when I do my reaction. And without further ado, let's get into this video. Making fun of poor little Joe Dirt. <laughs> Joe <Jitter>. Dirt. Um, <laughs> we got YouTube hot again, baby. We don't turn this to URL, but uh, don't ever disrespect an MB like that again. <laughs> <laughs> and boy, this little star of mine, well, let's go shine. True face up the boots, cause it's go time. I'ma only tell your ass one more time. Leave for my heart gets dark as a coal mine. I don't even gotta try, I got a dope mind. Thought he hanging my ass up on a clothesline. But y'all about to go to hell, cause you folks fine. So he ain't even gotta fucking run the whole time. I guess not, bro. Fuck you pay me, give you hooks on the beat. See, these motherfuckers need to look for their leap. How you don't see no separation when the segregation in your motherfucking teeth? And all your songs are like a spit on the cheek. For everyone who really spit on the beat. Catch a fish and leave the shit in the creek. When he swim it, fishes, then the mission's complete. Oh, God, you just barking like old dogs, but you thought that was so hard whoa y'all you said i pulled a race car now I'm pulling this whole car i brought a knife to a gunfight what a treat i would still warn you not to fuck with me it may look like i got nothing tuck with me till i put out this razor and cut your cheek boy, you blue face on the fucking beat think you can fuck with me oh. can't even fucking speak boy this shit so weak it ain't cutting deep you miss incredible everything is a fucking reach no <laughs> straight jacket because i'm rapping crazy call me whoopi gober now i'm laughing baby because if that's so then his ass it goes if i'm whoopi gober then he patches sway you rhyme shake and bake with racist white house with nebraska i don't even really got a point to make besides damn that's Ass, and I asked her, something ain't right with you Cause you spazzed all spaz for not liking you He had a couple fucking subs in the lightest fuse Despite that dude, that shit was really biting you Got a brace to the face that we live in the make sure He can say this shit basic and they're gonna take it They gon' call your ass racist for saying any racist They gon' act like the sub show who is the greatest Hey, screw the young sub your ass Well, I don't need them if they cut that fast And after this, we can puff, puff, pass But month fools still gotta snuff your ass And you can't stop me, that's a blessing from God I etch your sketch and stick the pen in your heart Pedal to the metal, meet the devil I'm a rebel, what's my fucking ex and my stars? Boy, you know this, I'm activist Yeah, I'm black as shit, but I ain't active this no cap in it, but I'll be mad as shit if they act biased when they react to this. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No race car. <laughs> uh, I still love you though, dog. For real. <laughs> Maybe we could like have a beer after this or something. You know what I mean? All right. Face. We gonna stop it right here, man. Um. So yeah, let's get into this. Uh, Joe Dirt. To, uh, up church this this exactly this is exactly what I was talking about man uh, it has to be about the bars um, definitely different track that he went in in this track than he went in in the last track um, it was more so that he was going at him in regards to uh, things that can be validated thank you that's that that's what the rap battle is about it's about the bars man um so speaking of the bars man this was definitely this was definitely a dope track for him um if there was ever going to be a track that would allow you to bounce back after the last track this is it um <laughs> this was definitely hidden um and let me just say something on this Spaz Reacts part because uh, he brought this up in the first disc, he brought it up in, in this disc. Here's the issue that I have with this Spaz Reacts. If you don't like an artist, right? You don't like an artist, you don't like their flow style, you don't like their rhyme scheme, you don't like what they put on wax, that's cool. There's no problem with you, with you voicing your uh, concern and saying, hey, I don't like uh, this artist. The problem was Spaz Reacts did the same thing that you did. Hat Ford, Yeehaw, and all that nonsense. 
demean like literally demeaning the the artist and his craft like that's not necessary bro like if you don't like it just be like it's not for me and keep it moving you feel me off that dude back to the diss track um but yeah this the diss track was definitely hidden man um he definitely had his bars on tap in this track um and it looks like we have ourselves a legitimate rap battle if it can stay this way now i'm interested to see how upchurch responds or if he decides he's gonna keep it going and respond a second time now i didn't address this in the first video um but a lot of people were saying about um screw clout chasing bruh we as as reactors as youtube people we all clout chase bro we're all looking for a video or something to come out that we can react to that is going to help not only our views but our sub count it is what it is like that's the nature of the business that we're in um so just don't get it screwed yes there's a lot of people that's out there reaching and shout out to you with the incredible line saying that he was reaching. Damn. That was a good bar. Um, <laughs> but yeah, man, like it's we we all find ourselves in in that spot. You know, we look to our audience to tell us who to react to. But there are times that we will do videos because we understand that that artist. Um, depending on what's going on is going to generate a lot of views so in a you know for the definition of clout chasing or looking for a way to expand your brand we all do it we all do it now some are a little more intense than others um and i guess that's the reason why there was kind of like the dislike in regards to screw but this was definitely bars this was definitely heat so definitely salute to screw face for uh dusting yourself off and trying again bruh and bring in some legitimate heat man you have bars upon bars upon bars in this track um I, he still hit him with you know how you gonna diss me and you didn't rhyme not one time diss me rhyme not one whatever whatever so uh it, it's it's funny see these are the things that when you have a, a rap battle that you're looking for if if I'm gonna diss someone it's on something that I can prove like I can go and say well that didn't rhyme you know what I mean um, versus just throwing out a bunch of random stuff that can't be solidified so this one was definitely better man it was definitely um, a dope diss track um, so we're back to the bars man I'm excited I'm excited. That just means that there's more music on the way. Um, hopefully, Upchurch responds to this. Again, it's not necessary that he does, but it would be great for the culture for us to get around to and hear how he responds to this track and, and the direction that he goes based off of what was stated in this specific track. So, um, and there was a bar in there. He said that I'm a, I'm a rebel. I need my ex, like... <laughs> He has some he has some wittiness in this track, man. You gotta give him credit, bro. I give credit where credit is due, man. Um, it's about the it's about the art form, and I love rap battles. I love when uh, they go toe to toe. Like I told you guys before, this is typically when you see the best of an artist. This is when they give you everything, and so this was definitely dope to see him go in, stay away from. That, that racial side and just give bars, just give heat, just give metaphors and wittiness. Hey, I'm cool with it. This was definitely dope, man. But if there was ever going to be a way to resurrect yourself, he definitely did it in this track, man. So definitely salute to uh, Screwface for dropping uh, this track and kind of dusting itself off and trying again. Um, so I definitely give him uh, points on that because normally um, and people have been saying and you know when you get in a rap battle you pull the race car that's kind of like career ending and here's the thing regardless of how you may feel about uh, Screwface John uh, like him dislike him or whatever you know 
Uh, this is a platform in which we provide for our, our families. So you never really want to see someone just go to nothing. Um, and he does have bars. He is a dope MC. The issue is that comes with growth. He like you have you, you have to be put in situations for you to learn and for you to grow. And I'm hoping that through this experience that he grows um, and you know grows into the MC that we would all love to see because he definitely got bars man and we heard it definitely in this track but you guys will have to let me know in the comments below what you thought about the track was it heat for you was this a resurrection track for you and you know we'll hash it up there but anyways guys we're gonna keep this moving make sure you stay locked to this channel your videos coming up next make sure you smash that like subscribe if you're new and I will catch you guys in the next one until then Shady Crew Stay shady out there.